Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says convert the given fraction to decimal and the given fraction is 3 upon 7. Let's proceed with the solution now. We are given the fraction 3 upon 7 and we need to convert this fraction to a decimal. This fraction 3 upon 7 is expressed as a decimal by simply dividing 3 by 7. So we can write 3 upon 7 as 3 divided by 7. Now let's start dividing 3 by 7. Now we know that since 3 is not divisible by 7, so we put a 0 here and a decimal point here and again a 0 after this. Then again we put this decimal point after 0 in this quotient. Now we have the dividend as 30 and the divisor 7. We know that 7 4 times is 28. We write 28 below 30. Now 28 when subtracted from 30 gives us 2. Again this 2 is not divisible by 7. So we put a 0 here and we bring this 0 down towards the right of 2 to get the dividend as 20. Now 7 2 times is 14 which is less than 20. So we write 14 below 20. And when we subtract 14 from 20 we get 6. Again the 6 is not divisible by 7. So we put a 0 here and we bring this 0 down to the right of 6 to get 60 as the dividend. Then 7, 8 times is 56. So we write 56 below 60. And when we subtract 56 from 60 we get 4. This 4 is also not divisible by 7. So we put a 0 here and we bring down this 0 to the right of 4 to get 40 as the dividend. Now 7, 5 times is 35 which is less than 40 and 35 when subtracted from 40 gives us 5. This 5 is not divisible by 7 so again we put a 0 here and we bring down this 0 to the right of 5 to get 50 as the dividend. Then 7, 7 times is 49 which is less than 50. We subtract 49 from 50 to get 1. Now 1 is also not divisible by 7. So we put a 0 here and we bring down the 0 to the right of 1 to get 10 as the dividend. Then 7, 1 time is 7 which is less than 10. We subtract 7 from 10 to get 3. This 3 is also not divisible by 7. So we put a 0 here and we bring down this 0 to the right of 3 to get 30 as the dividend. Now 7, 4 times is 28. We write 28 below 30. When we subtract 28 from 30 we get 2. This 2 is also not divisible by 7. So again we put a 0 here and we bring down this 0 to the right of 2 to get 20 as the dividend. And we know 7 2 times is 14. We write 14 below 20. And when we subtract 14 from 20, we get 6. In the same way, we proceed further in the division process. So we observe that this division process never ends. Since we do not get the remainder as 0, we see in the quotient that a particular block of digits get repeated. That is 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1 gets repeated itself. So we can write the fraction 3 upon 7 as the decimal which is the non-terminating decimal as 0 0.428571 with a bar over the block of digits that repeats this quotient thus obtained is a non terminating 
decimal. Since in this the division process does not end or does not terminate, so we have expressed the given fraction as a decimal which is a non-terminating decimal. This is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.